let's go ahead and now build a profile page um, that's going to allow us to display profile information of whatever user that's uh, that's currently registered in the system. So again, this is going to be straightforward because we already have the ability or, or we already have the functionality that we require to output profile information depending on what, what user we've chosen. So let's go ahead and, and get straight into writing the code on our profile.php page. Um, so I'm going to require in core forward slash init.php to so our initialization file. Um, and let's go ahead and while we're at it and just update the link on the uh, the home page of this of this site to profile.php user equals and then we're going to output our um, our username so we can basically just copy and paste this um, output here to there so what we now get is when we're on the home page we can click our own username and we're redirected to profile.php and the query string uh, the key here is user and the value is alex so what we want to do is output the user's full name on the page now, if the user doesn't exist, we want to generate a 404 error, uh, which we've already dealt with in our redirect um, uh, class that we created. And we have a, a, the ability to pass a numeric um, 404 and that generate an error. So um, the first thing we want to do is check if we don't have a user name supplied. So we're going to say if not username equals input get user then we want to redirect to index.php now we're setting this at the same time um, so we now have access to this username variable uh, so let's just go ahead and echo username onto the page um, so what we can now do is is just see anything that we uh, apply here so it doesn't matter whether the user exists or not it, it just looks the same so what we now want to do is check if this user actually exists or not. So let's create a user variable, say new user, and pass through the username. Now let's just refer back to our user class. Um, when we construct, we have a user here. Um, and what we want to do is we want to, if this if this does exist, we are checking uh, or we're making a... Um, a uh, check for this using the find method. The find method checks if it's numeric or not. So if it's a username, there's a string, it will it will find this in 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 uh, by username. So we're now grabbing a user by username, and we can actually check if this exists or not. Um, so we can say if it doesn't exist. So if user exists, so if it doesn't exist, we want to redirect to. A 404 otherwise we'll just output exists so let's take a look at what this looks like so if I refresh it says exists because the user Alex does actually exist um, let's just type in here Ashley exists uh, and type in someone that doesn't exist and it says oops that page cannot be found so we're still staying on the same page we're not redirecting anywhere we're just generating a 404 error in the browser and, and outputting our data so now that we know that we have a data uh, user that does exist we're going to set data equal to user data using the user data method here which remember just basically returns uh, the data that we've stored once we've uh, you know found the user information so now what we can do from this is we can uh, just basically come down here and start to output some data so I'm gonna uh, create an h3 uh, element and I'm gonna echo the escaped value of data username and then here in a paragraph, I'm just going to say full name. And again, I'm going to echo using the escape function data name. And that's it. So now when we refresh the page here, well, obviously we're on Polly at the moment, but if I was to type Alex, it says Alex here uh, and the full name Alex Garrett. And the same with uh, the other users that we have in our database as well, uh, Bill. 
So that's really as simple as it is. Uh, you could use um, HT access file and use URL rewriting to perhaps do something like the ability to provide like that. Um, but you know, that's something to look at, look up and, and try. But for now, we've basically got down the core functionality. You can make the, um, the profile page look however you want. But the main point here is that we have all the functionality we need. We've just utilized what we've already written and uh, we then have access to user profile information. So that's how we, uh, we create user profiles.